You're watching ABC4 News with Matt Fonts, Jillian Smuckler, and Nate Larson. Welcome back. A brand new treatment center in Murray is here to help Utahns understand and treat lipedema, a disease affecting millions of women worldwide. <laughs> Joining us in studio to explain more is founder and medical director, Dr. David Amron. David, good morning. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Thank this you, This is a very mm. important cause, and what you guys are opening here in Murray is, is very beneficial to the community, not only to help those with this disease, but also to spread awareness about it as well. So for those at home who don't know about lipedema, can you give us just a brief background? story about what it is. Yeah, so it's a fat storage disease that's genetically inherited, affecting one in nine women worldwide, which is really the same rate as breast cancer. The problem is there's so little awareness about it. Most people don't know about it. Unfortunately, most doctors don't know about it. And I'm looking to change that. Our, we have centers in LA, Arizona, and now Utah. And we're the leading therapeutic center in North America for lipedema. So you talk about a lot of people not knowing a lot about it. What, what is being done to get the word out there more? Is it opening these centers? Is it going and doing this right here and educating people? How are we spreading the word about this? Well, it's, that's, that's a great question. I think that it's, there's such lack of awareness for so many years, and now a lot of that information is on the Internet yeah. about it. I've, I've written a book about it, um, and things are beginning to finally change. There's awareness of this disease. Absolutely. All right. So let's let's talk about that disease a little bit more. Uh, let's symptoms, um, concerns. How, how does someone know that they're dealing with this or they're coming on to dealing with this? Yeah. So good question. Most patients are simply just misdiagnosed as being overweight. It will generally begin presenting right around puberty, a very sensitive age, okay. and then begin to slowly develop. It's genetically inherited. You get the disease from mother or father and it has characteristic signs and symptoms. The signs are a column like look to the leg going all the way around and then the arms later on, and then symptoms of tenderness to pressure, easy bruisability, and typically swelling. So I noticed you mentioned there around the puberty phases when you could start noticing this. So it can start at a young age, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Typically, so you, you, you get the gene. I mean, you're born with right, that again. Right. But, um, but it will begin it because presenting age. at the first hormonal changes of puberty. So 9, 10, 11, 12, the wow. teenage years, um, which are really, again, very sensitive, sensitive ages. So let's talk about the treatment of it all. Obviously, if someone is diagnosed with it and has it, is there ways that people can learn to live with it throughout the rest of their life? Because I'm assuming this is something that stays with them forever, or is this treatable, curable? What does that look like? Yeah, so it, the important thing is to begin with proper diagnosis, you know, okay. pinpoint the disease. And most women have not been diagnosed. They've been typically just told to lose weight and exercise more. So that's an important thing. Number two, there's a lot you can do preventatively for the disease beyond respectful dietary strategy, proper compression therapy. This is where our center in Arizona is focusing all the stuff, as well as the research division. And finally, a lot of patients, as a progressive progresses, need to consider surgery for it. I've developed a very specific approach to it surgically, and that really sets the disease back almost to its infancy. So it's a little strong to use the word cure, but it really is a life-changing thing. And definitely beneficial as well. Let's, uh, let's discuss your new center opening here in Murray. That's yeah. a huge deal. What is it going to offer for those who are dealing with this disease? Yeah, so it's a dedicated center. We're, we're thrilled about our grand openings today. Yeah. And, Congrats, um, by the way. Yeah, it's thank a big you. Accomplishment. And so, again, it's about proper diagnosis of the patient. So, patients we see uh, in, in the clinic for diagnosis of it. We do a lot of virtual consultations, but we also have a two operating room surgical center there, uh, which I began operating in last week um, to really change lives of patients. So for anyone at home right now who is interested in checking out this center or wanting to learn more about this disease in general who might not have the knowledge that they should, where should they go for more information? What do you want our viewers at home to know? Yeah, so our, our website's uh, roxburyinstitute.com and has a lot of information about lipedema. Um, that's a really good source for it. Um, and again, get on the internet these days is a good thing. But also go to our grand opening ceremony uh, event today. It's at 430, the mayor's gonna be there and it's gonna be hundreds of people and it'll be a great event. Looking forward to it. And again, an awesome new addition to the community is going to help out so many. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Amron, again, for being here with Thank us. You, we Matt. appreciate it.